Alrighty, if you guys see my video Wednesday, you would know that season one is kind of officially over. I died to a piglin instead of the nether. I forgot my golden boots. It was a whole thing. I've mourned the loss of the world, but it is the nature of hardcore. If you die, you lose the world. It was something I knew going into it. But I am extremely excited to start season two because who knows what we're going to spawn into? Who knows what ideas I'm going to get for the next world? I may go for something similar as an homage back to season one, or I may go somewhere completely different using some other game as inspiration. Who knows? I won't know until I get in there and see an area that gives me that type of inspiration. So without further ado, we're loading in. Oh, oh, fun. It's just like, God, I'm getting some reminiscent features here. Um, oh, there's a goat over there. I may be able to get a goat horn like first go through, but either way, I need to avoid powdered snow to save my life and look for tree trees up there. Oh, and, and cave is there too. Please don't let there be powdered snow. Okay, oak and spruce. Those are f first wood types I see. Um, that's a mighty tall tree right there. Like that one I understand. That one is a little... <coughs> Ow. Okay, now it makes sense. Okay, and with this world, we're also going to keep some of the major goals we had from last time. Such as the Wither and the Ender Dragon. I didn't actually get the ability to fight them within the last world. So I'm definitely going to have to look into fighting them this time. So a little bit of a cave right there. I may go ahead and start using that for just basic material. So I can get a wooden pick. Come back to this in a split second. Let me get some stone. Hello, donkey. Stone age. Dear heaven, sir. some first torches. I did- that's not the way to do that. Here we go. Now that's done properly. Okay. First things first. Pickaxe. Axe. I'm just clicking all the wrong things. And then a sword. And there's my food. There's also pumpkins over there. I'm gonna grab those. Please don't let there be powdered snow. That's powdered snow. I'm not touching that. You're gonna perish. This is a whole bunch of snowy cliffs. Okay, well we got it. Oop, that's an Enderman. I'm very sorry, but I need food and wool. Ow, my ankles. Hmm. Oh! There's a portal down there. Well, this brings back some unsightly memories. Smite. Oh, there's our first bit of iron. 
flint and steel, obsidian. You know what? I'll take the axe and, and the pants. May not be the best pants, but they are still something. Oh, well, how nice. How did that spawn like that? I have so many questions. How? Well, the child is causing chaos. Can I have y'all's blue bed? Here, you can have a white one. Oh, there's a purple bed. That one I may steal. Ooh! Berries! There's that last sapling I was looking for. The child is just sitting there playing all kinds of ways with the door. Well, okay then. What's in here? Oh, this is a leather worker. Okay, I have pants. Let's take the helmet though. Barrels? Okay. Berries, another iron nugget. I already have pumpkins, so I don't feel the need to pick those up. Fisherman's hut right here. Are there any more buildings up there? There is, there is. Okay, this is one of those buildings that has like an upstairs, isn't it? Nope. Not this one. I may actually be spending the night in this village. Most definitely am. Nice to know. Potatoes, yes. I'm so excited for some potatoes, man. You know, I'll sleep right here. In the rain. It's fine. Oh, the cartographer. What'd you get? Some more bread, a bunch of empty maps, and some paper. Sign, more spruce wood, more potatoes. Some more iron nuggets. On earth? Oh! Dude's trying to keep me from stealing all of his bread. Yep, I stole it. We even got a little bit of a dock out here. Hmm. I don't know, maybe I'll settle with the village this time? Maybe work on transforming it. Wouldn't be a bad idea. It would give me villagers pretty early. Okay. I am back. We are now sitting in a village. I look so funny with the pants on. I, I, can't, I can do the helmet. I can't do the pants. We can't do the pants. Okay. But we are back in that village that we found a while back. I have decided after seeing a few other areas, there is another land area about... I'd say a few hundred blocks that direction, as well as two uh, sea temples on this side of us heading that direction. This village is actually not a bad place to settle. Does it have its quirks? Yes. How grass spawned on top of a tree? I don't know. But I think I'm just going to set up like a little bit of a house over here on this beach to keep myself slightly away from the villagers, but still close enough to where I can modify the building. I don't have a chest because my only chest I've stuck on here. 
So give me more wood. I don't even have enough to make a double chest. Okay. Well, one's going in there. So I can just start throwing stuff in there. And just pull everything out of here. And I did find another uh What do you call those? Ruin portals. So I have a lot of obsidian now. Oh, that's going to be fun. <laughs> of course I do that. Of course I do that. Oh, that, that. Mm, mm, mm. Well, I guess our noob cube's going to have a very indestructible block on it. <laughs> Ain't nothing breaking this noob cube today. <laughs> Alrighty, cutting back in, we have our own little noob cube. It is a little more decked out this time due to the fact of there is a piece of obsidian. Pretty sure I caught it on camera where I decided that the piece of obsidian, one of the pieces of obsidian I have found, I accidentally misclicked and put it down. Um, that's going to be fun to deal with later. But for right now, it's a part of the starter base, and I'm just going to leave it there. But we have a very simple starter base. I tried to hype it up a little bit with a little thing out here, and then put an actual, like, curved roof on it. With just some basic materials, I'll probably make it look better later. But for right now, it suits what I need, and it gives me a bunch more space. So that I can fit a chest monster in here instead of outside like I did last time. Because we're going to be working with villagers very early on in this. Which means the gate around here may not be the most aesthetically looking, but it is functional. It keeps the villagers from auto-tracking to my bed or my stuff that's in here. Because I actually had an issue. I don't know if I'm going to keep it in the video or not, but I definitely recorded a baby villager messing around with my door. So I stuck this entire gate thing around it to keep the villagers out. So that's going to be everything for the first episode. We have made landfall. I don't know why this block is... Okay. That was supposed to be a stair, not an actual block. Hold on. I fix. I fix. Hold on. There we go. But that's going to be the start to our little starter base. And I'm going to make this look better in between episodes as well as get a bunch of this area cleared out because a lot of the village is overcome with trees. Which is going to be something that I have to kind of fix in between episodes because it's going to be a lot of tree chopping. And learning from last season, I will try to be recording more often when I'm not actually planning on making a video of what's going on. I'm still going to record in between episodes. So in case something like the piglin incident from last season happens again, I'll actually catch it on camera and be able to give you guys a full video of what happened leading up to the death. And with that, I hope you guys are enjoying the start to season two. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye!